Retro Rock plays everything. Hey there, real gamers and puddin' cup munchers. Retro Rob here, and I'm feeling creatively devoid. Therefore, it's time for another haul video. Um, I haven't been doing as many of these lately, and that's because I just have not been buying as much. And that's due to a decision this year to kind of cut back on just buying junk. I want to get things that really um, enhance my collection as opposed to just grabbing whatever. And I think this video will reflect it. So I... Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. There's some 8-bit stuff here, and I'm really excited about it. Even though it's not like collector's grade, it is the kind of stuff I like to get. So let's get started. It's Comic Circus for the Super Cassette Vision. If you think I'm going to be doing a video on this in the near future, you betcha, as we like to say in Wisconsin. Here, let's take a quick look at it. The back of the box has the game. Uh, I believe, what was the name of it? I think this is a remake of Circus Charlie. In fact, I think it originally was. I think that's the name of the game. Uh, I think it originally was Circus Charlie and then due to licensing, they had to rename it because they somehow lost the license. They got into some big battle with Nintendo, the Super Cassette Vision people. And if you don't know what the Super Cassette Vision is, I've got plenty of videos on the topic. All right, I got like four, but I'm gonna have more very soon. Anyway. Cartridges are very tiny. There it is. Usually there's a manual in here, but I get them cheaper without the manual, so I'm going sans manual this time. A while ago, I did a PSP video on Pursuit Force, the original game, and it went over quite well, so I figured I'd pick up Pursuit Force Extreme Justice. This, of course, is the sequel to the original Pursuit Force. And this is the back of the box. Let's zoom in on the graphics. Justice for all, non-stop, arcade-style action that fuses driving and combat mechanics. Four-player multiplayer via ad hoc mode. The Pursuit Force has been recruiting. Meet new playable team members and lead them in pursuit of justice on land, sea, and in the air. Pretty sweet. Here we have Animal Crossing on the Switch. If you have never seen this game, then you've probably had your head buried in a hole somewhere because it's super popular, guys. Come on. Anyway, I'm not going to go into this game too much because I'm pretty sure everybody knows what it is. But I am happy to say that I am enjoying this game way more than I thought I would. However, my island is still very primitive even a month into the game. So, eh. What do you do, right? Travis from the Guys Games and Beer podcast has been weighing heavily into my Switch purchasing lately. And here's yet another game. He told me about Animal Crossing. He was posting a bunch of uh, videos and pictures of the game and it got me to buy it. And he also announced in the Guys Games and Beer Discord group that Risk of Rain 2 was on sale for 20 bucks. So I picked it up. I haven't played it on here yet, but I have played it on the PC. And the PC version is really quite good. And there's the back of the box. Let's zoom in. Team up and power up. Risk of Rain returns with an extra dimension. Play solo or team up with four friends to fight through hordes of monsters. This is a really good game. Unlock new loot and find a way to escape the planet. I should say it's a good game on the PC. Again, I have not played this. It's still packaged, uh, but I'm going to try it out. I would assume it's pretty much the same thing unless they totally messed up, which I can't imagine they would do such a thing. Next we have the Collective Minds Wired Next Generation Mod Pack for the Xbox One. Play it like a pro. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but I do like the newer Xbox One controllers better than I like my older Elite controller. They just feel much tighter, just a much better feel to them in my opinion. And that helps your reaction times a little bit, but I really need those flippers for ducking and jumping, so I picked this guy up and added it, of course, to my newer Xbox One controller. And they sit down at the bottom here, and basically I just map uh, one to jump and one to duck. You can do that by hitting this button and then pressing down. Uh, no power right now. You do have to plug these directly into the Xbox, so this plugs into your controller, and then this part plugs into your console. So it makes it into a wired controller with a couple paddles. So just note that if you're interested in it. I don't mind it. I think it's a little bit faster anyway. And let's face it, my reaction times aren't what they used to be. Anywho, 
but it works really well. It does have some cheats and stuff on it. I'm not a big fan of that kind of functionality, so I don't use it, but uh, it does have the options if you want to do like drop shot and rapid fire and stuff like that, but uh, I don't recommend using it. It's kind of crappy gameplay to do something like that. Lots of people have elite controllers, but not a lot of people have cheats, so don't use them, folks. You might get kicked. Who knows? You could get put in Xbox prison. <laughs> uh, anyway, there we go. There's the back of the box, and yeah, they work pretty well. I've got two of them, in fact, one for the wife and one for me. Okay, I've got six 8-bit Sega games to end this with. These, of course, are all for the Master System. I got the whole lot of them off a of Goodwill auction for about 70 bucks delivered, and I think that's a pretty good deal. I might be wrong on the price. It might have been like 80 Maybe been more like 80 but brings it down to about 15 bucks a piece and i think that's pretty good uh for classic sega greatness unfortunately they don't have manuals with them which brings down the value and if you look at the uh look at the cartridge itself it's kind of beat up these have been well played well loved i would say yeah well loved anyway altered beast look at the you know looking at the graphics on this it's really kind of unbelievable how much better they can be than regular Nintendo graphics. They look really good. I'm talking about NES graphics, NES. But, I mean, they look really good. Thumbs up, comment, and subscribe, or I will go Skynet on your butt. Altered Beast, you were a Roman centurion. You died bravely in battle. Now, a hundred years later, you have been called back from the grave by Zeus, God of Thunder who says, lies from the glaive. Anyway, even as he grants you new life, he gives you a mission. You must rescue his daughter Athena from the evil clutches of Neph, Lord of the Underworld. Heck yeah. I'm amazed more people weren't into this one. I did buy one in the day. I got mine on clearance, brand new. I think it was like 20, 30 bucks. And uh, I had it for quite a while, but uh, got made fun of. But mine was way cooler than a Nintendo Entertainment System, which I didn't have till years later. Just saying. Feel free to debate that. <laughs> Here's Astro Warrior. Again, cartridges aren't in the greatest shape, but they're not bad. And then uh, Astro Warrior. It pits you against the enemy's fleet of super-powered spaceships. And ultimately, the invincible Master Ship. It's invincible. There's really no reason to play the game after the beginning of it. But anyway, neat little game. Next we have Rasten. Which I never played back in the day, so I'm kind of excited to try it out. Again, kind of a beat up, beat up. Uh, well played. Sorry, well played. <laughs> That's what I'd use on eBay. Well played. No, I wouldn't. I'd just say it looks pretty beat up. But anyway, Rastin by Tato. Did you know that Tato's short for potato? No, no it's not. It's the Red Hot Arcade game now playable on your Sega system. You are Rastin, an iron-muscled barbarian from the cold Northlands. A bounty hunter by trade, you fear no band or dark, slavering, be did I say manned? <laughs> or dark, slavering, or slavering, beast. For you are a master of every edged weapon. Yeah. Double Dragon. Again, you know, just some classic stuff. For one or two players. This guy really loved his Sega Master System. Who can blame him? And there we go with some Double Dragon. Now zoom in and watch it blur. No, it got better for once. What do you know? It's two-player Double Dragon for your Sega system, just like the arcade game. In a city destroyed by war and crime, you count on each other to survive. You are Billy and Jimmy Lee. You have multiple personality syndrome. The twins they like to call the spike. Wait, the twins they call the spike and the hammer. Yeah. When it comes to martial arts, you're both street lethal. Leaping kicks. Knee smashes, judo throws, you are the masters. Yeah, exciting. Hope that wasn't too blurry. 
Sorry if it was. Space Harrier. Usually you hear about the uh, Sega Genesis version, which was quite excellent. But it also came out on the Master System. I noticed that I don't think Sonic's in here. I wish Sonic was in here. Sonic. Sonic. Another Wisconsin pronunciation. Sonic. And there we go. Space Harrier. You are Harrier, the resourceful extraterrestrial warrior. And space is your battlefield. Your mission is to save the land of dragons from vicious creatures led by the vile and crafty one-eyed mammoth. <laughs> Let's just go on. Thunderblade. We'll open that up. There's Thunderblade. Again, kind of beat up. No manual. Get ready to take part in the greatest helicopter battle of the century with Thunderblade, the original Sega hit. I, I just put original in there. It didn't even have... Anyway. You're the gunship gladiator. You fly the Thunderblade chopper. Some say you're unstoppable. This mission will put you to the test. Yeah. And that is it for this haul video. I want to thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed what you saw, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in a couple days. Bye!